it's sexy. Put it on. Oh my God, don't bring it down here. Ah! Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, you guys have a little bit of everything, okay? Just letting you know this. This is the time you might want to grab a snack, a drink, a latte, a cafe. I mean, something, okay? We're going to be here for just a minute, but you know I don't like long videos, so I'm going to wrap it up. I do have a new fragrance to share with you that I cannot wait to share with you. I've got some skincare. I've got some beauty. If you want to see the things that I've been obsessed with and a new fragrance that I'm trying please continue to watch here on this channel I do cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle all things fancy and fabulous dwelling so if that sounds like your vibe your zhuzh you know something that you be into go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button but before you do do me a favor drop your sin of the day in the description box below because I like to know what the besties are rocking as well and if you really want to take it a step further and become a bestie, come on over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. First and foremost, I want to thank Ceremonia for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much, Ceremonia, for this headband. In case you do not know, Ceremonia is a Latinx heritage brand that is coming in and sweeping up the nation. I seriously mean that. Like, I've been seeing them everywhere. First of all, I started on my Instagram. Then I've seen them in Sephora. So yes, they are specializing in hair care. They sent over some of their hair care products that I have not had a chance to use yet, but I will. But I took the headband now because I finished my workout today and I put it on right away. So thank you so much for the hairband. But they do have an all-in-one conditioner and an all-in-one shampoo that I cannot wait to try. I have heard nothing but amazing things about both of these. And they also sent over, looks like a hair oil. I was reading up on it. Now you guys know if you've been here for a while, I've been telling you, I went to the hairstylist. We're not gonna relieve that story again. The front part of my hair got really damaged and really, um, I wanna say bleached out or like, it wasn't even, I don't even know what it was. But however, I was getting color on my hair and it just died and I've got all these little scraggly strands and breakage and tearage and everything. So I'm like, Ceremonia, like who told you? Who spilled the tea to you? Thank you for sending over the hair products. I am on my hair care journey and I've heard, like I said, nothing but amazing things, natural ingredients, you guys. So as soon as I use these products, I am definitely gonna take it to my Instagram and I'm definitely gonna do a follow-up video letting you know how they've worked for me. One is a hair oil that you're supposed to, I read up on it, you guys, cause I had to know. Put in your hair and let it sit 15 to 10 minutes, leave on, and then go ahead and rinse it out and shampoo and do as you would normally do. And then I have the other one, which is an oil hair mist that I cannot wait to use as well. So Ceremonia, thank you so much for sending these over. I absolutely appreciate them. Thank you so kindly. As soon as I use them, I am going to do a follow-up video. But one thing that I will say about their products, you guys, it is saying that it is silicone-free, sulfate-free. It has no artificial colorants. It's cruelty-free. So if you're looking for a clean product, a clean ingredient, a clean line, this is it. Now, why am I talking about Ceremonia? Because they came out with their first ever fragrance and they asked if they could send it over for my review and you know she said yes I love trying new fragrances you guys seem to enjoy that as well so I wanted to share it with you I have already picked up the fragrance already tore it out of the package you guys already did all the things because when I get a fragrance I cannot wait to tear open the package spray it and see what vibe it's giving me one thing I look for a fragrance to do when I tear it out of the package and spray it on is does it transport me what does it give me where does it send me what vibe does it create yes I want to know the notes but more than the notes sometime I'm like oh where did that take me what did it give me and this one it came with a story so we are introducing for the first time on my channel perfume de la tiara I love the name you guys please tell me I said that right I hope I said that right I've been practicing I was like girl you got this perfume de la tiara it's sexy I was like okay I'm loving this name so this is what the bottle looks like it comes in a cardboard box minimalistic packaging better for the earth and the environment this is made with a wood cap that they have here right on top here this is what the color and the bottle of the juice looks like so immediately immediately when i got it i was like okay and i didn't i didn't know that if that was the color of the juice or the color of the bottle but you guys this is actually the color of the bottle here it's like a lemon it looks like outside it looks like a lemon it looks like fruit it looks like it's tropical it really matches the color of a lemon i'll give you some of the notes and then we'll talk about it but before we even go there i'm going to spray it on my skin 
even though I have already wore this. This is what the mister looks like. I'm actually gonna sample it for you here. That's our mister. We'll let that dry down just a tad bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Upon me spraying it, go with me, go with me. I'm about to transport you somewhere. Come with me, come with me. So when I sprayed it, immediately I just went to, I've smelled this before. It was very familiar. Um, it took me back to a time and place, meaning something familiar, something that I have smelt before, a place that I had visited, a place that I have been. It kind of took me back to, and I don't know why, childhood memories. Um, playing outside, but not really, cause you know I didn't like outside. You know I didn't. It didn't give me the same vibe as being under the trees, where I told you guys it smells like bees and the bees were attacking me. It didn't give me that vibe. It was like being outside when it was wet. So I started reading upon it and I was like, okay, it gives very nostalgic, tropical, rainforest, earthy, but not too earthy type of vibes. Like a place that you can go, you can sit out, it's not a place you would be all dressed up. I mean, it's kind of like a natural beauty. It's kind of like sexy, it's sultry, it's kind of wet, it's steamy, it's kind of humid. You know what I mean? It gives off that kind of vibe. It gives off of that type of mood, like something where I would be dressed, but not overly dressed. You know what I mean? I'm just effortlessly dressed. Definitely looking sexy. Some type of body shimmer on, I'm kind of oiled up. I'm greased up, as you would say. My shoulders are popping, the clavicle is popping. And I've definitely just taken this and just put it on. Oh my God, don't forget down here. Ah, oh my God. And it's, it's good. Another thing I'll say is that I looked at the price. It won't break the bank. It will not break the bank. You know I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description box for you below. So make sure you check that out. Let's go over and tell you a little bit of the notes. So inside in our top notes, we have bergamot and pink pepper. You definitely get the bergamot, I would say. Um, pink pepper is there, but it's not like heavy on it. It's not heavy on it. And then you get basil. So it is giving you kind of more of an herbal type of event. You know, it's giving you more like, like I said, it's like, it's sexy, it's laid down, it's in the background. That's why I said it was kind of like nostalgic for me. I have been there, it was familiar, but I can't compartmentalize like where. I just was transported to that like scene. That's what it gives me. Okay, our middle notes, we have jasmine petal. You get the jasmine, but it's not overly sweet either. And that's the good thing about it. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly peppery, or peppery, I should say. It's not overly herbal. Everything is blended to perfection. It's got peach, it's got ginger, and then down in our base notes, it has tonka bean. It also has driftwood and vetiver, so it's like, it's got some warmth to it. It's got some spiciness to it. It's got some depth to it. But at the same time, I would still consider this to be, it's not a light fragrance. I would definitely consider it to be, it's, when you first smell it, it's not in your face, but it's rememberable. Is that a word? Am I making that up? Memorable. It's memorable. It's memorable. It's memorable, you guys. You are going to remember this fragrance. I put it on, and you already know where I was going. I put it on. I was going to the gym, because that's what I do in the morning. Get up, try fragrances out. On my clothes, I wore my jacket to the gym, sprayed this heavily all over my jacket. It's still on my jacket. That was probably on, I don't know, earlier at the week. This is the end of the week and it's still on my jacket because I wore it the other day. I wore it this morning to the gym. On my skin, it lasts. It lasts and it projects. And the thing about it is, as I was wearing it, because I go about my day, doing my day, whatever you, I get back home, I check emails, I'll have another cup of coffee, pick somebody else, don't judge me. Um, and as I would move my arm like this, just as I'm doing now, I would keep getting whiffs of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's good. It's refreshing. It's perfect for right now. If you need the new spring, end of spring, entering into summer type fragrance, this is it right here. Just pick it up. Hopefully they give me a discount code. If they did, I'm gonna link it right here. If you don't see it right here, it's in the description box. Look down in the description box. You need this in your life. You need to pick it up. If you like a fresh, clean, herbal, earthy, uh, nostalgic story, sexy, tropical, wet, humidity type of vibe. You guys, I know, I know. Mountains, earthy. I mean, I went on that one hike and now I'm just in love. But that's what it's like. It's like, I don't know, I get something foggy, something like dripping wet. This is not going well, but that's 
what I get. That's what I get from this fragrance. Needless to say, I really, really love it. Thank you so much, Simonia, for partnering with me on today's video. Thank you so much for sending this over. Congratulations on a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's very sexy. And I would definitely say I would recommend this. I would recommend this and I would actually take this on vacation with me. You guys, this is a 1.7 fluid ounce. I'm gonna have it linked down in the description box where you can pick it up at. Should you want to pick it up, this is a 50 mil. Um, I believe this is travel safe. I love that it came in this because this is cardboard. So should you wanna put it in your suitcase, you can just put it in, pack it up and take it. You know me, I don't travel with full bottles, so I'm definitely gonna decant it and put it in my suitcase and take it with me. Again, shout out to Simonia for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Also, I was having a really bad hair day, so thank you so much for the headband. I appreciate it. Good looking out. Things that I have been loving, we're not gonna spend a lot of time here. Was it worth the hype? I wanna do this because a lot of times I love showing you guys products that I bought, that I found, but I also like to come back and let you know how they perform, how they wore, what they did, everything like that. So, Sol de Janeiro, remember I picked this up, I was telling you guys all about it. This is a grab. I will grab this and tell you to grab this. I will pick it up. It's a lighter oil. It's not heavy. It's perfect for right now. Um, it smells like the Bum Bum Cream identical to it. Um, I put the cream, I put the oil on first out of the shower. Then I put the cream on. It's a lighter cream. It's not thick. It's not heavy. This isn't one that I would sleep in. This is one that I would actually get on, put on for the day and then wear out. It's shoulder season. Okay. So the shoulders are always greased up, shined up, never tacky, never trashy, always classy. I move on. I would recommend. Okay. Another thing I picked up, remember you guys, I shared with you the mother's day blush. Remember from Dior, I shared that beautiful blush with you, this beautiful pink blush. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's amazing. 10 out of the 10, I would highly recommend. It's pigmented. It has beautiful color payoff. It doesn't even take a whole lot. Watch the video back. I'll link it. I tried it on and everything. Yes, I would pick this up again and it is a 10 out of 10. I move on. I had heard nothing but amazing things about the, I feel like I'm yelling. I'm sorry, you guys. I always yell when I get excited. Can you forgive me for that? It's just, I'm excited to see you and share all this stuff with you. I love sharing stuff with you that I love. Stuff that I don't love or didn't work. I'll come back and tell you it didn't work. But this, I love. So this is Ola Hendricks. This is the truth. Banana Bright Eye Cream. You guys, the proof is in the pudding. I just had this little bit because I'm a huge fan of Try Before You Buy. Now I'm going back to pick up the full size bottle or the larger size, I should say. This is really good. I put this on before my makeup. I put it right here with the ring finger, going all the way up, coming all the way down, coming all the way into the teardrop here, and then going all the way back out. It brightens the eyes, it illuminates it, it doesn't make it dry. It's kind of tacky, so the concealer goes on and sits really there. Chef's kiss. I move on. Another thing that I have been using, okay, now I am very, 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 very picky when it comes to a cleanser for my face. I was using the Chanel um, foam cleanser and I love that. Girl, I cannot talk today. I was using the Chanel foam cleanser and I love it. It's white, it suds up really well. I am a sud girl. I wanna see the soap, I wanna see the lather, I wanna see all the goodness on my face, right? So I had had one and I ran out and I needed it right away, but I ordered it from Chanel Boutique online. However, it's gonna take some time to get here. So in the meantime and in between time, I said I would pick up something else. So you all recommended First Aid Beauty and this is their Pure Face Cleanser. I love this stuff. I'll have everything linked in the description box for you below, but I really love this. The reason why, you guys, I've only had this for maybe a week and a half and it's almost gone. Oh girl, you don't have none to waste. Um, it's already almost gone. I probably use too much. You don't need that much. You just need like a little pea size here. You put it on, your face is wet. It lathers up really good. This is good for taking off your makeup. This is good to remove oil, dirt buildup, impurities, and it doesn't break me out. It's good for sensitive skin. So for those of you that recommended this to me, thank you so much. I absolutely love it. I move on. The Fade Cream. You guys all know this. If you've been on TikTok, if you've been in Sephora, if you've been anywhere, you have seen this. This is the Fade Cream. Absolutely love this. The only thing is I was using it wrong because when I bought it, the girl that I would talk to, she was like, only use it like, once every now and again, once it's very potent, it's very strong. So for me, I was like, I don't know why I bought this because this is not working. Then I watched a YouTube video and I watched it on this because I wanted to look it up to see why it wasn't working for me. And this particular lady was like, you need to use it like every day, twice a day like use it every day, twice a day. So I had a mark on my hand, which I got another one. You guys are not gonna be able to see this. I don't even know what I'm trying. Do you see that little dot over there? You guys, I scar so easy. I bruise so easy. I could nick my hand like this or my leg or my 
shoulder or my arm or and it's gonna be a bruise it's just gonna be a bruise so I had did that on this side you cannot see that really anymore it was a burn because it is fading away so if you are using this what has worked best for me is using it twice a day and using it every day I love this this is a fade cream it's a topical it's a brightening um, clearing serum that's gonna up uh, is it clearing yeah clearing serum that's gonna help to relieve dark marks scars bruising all the things it has helped thank you remember I shared this with you all the dr. Dennis Gras uh, peeling pads I told you that Keiko Beauty referred them to me they are very 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 expensive and I picked them up during the Sephora sale well girl guy why am I mad if you follow me on Instagram I share the rest of this stuff with you already I love them. I'm addicted to them. You use one side, it exfoliates. When I first used it, the first day, it burned just a tad bit. I took my time. I didn't use it every day. I used it like every other day just to see how it was gonna be. It brightened my skin. I have some, um, I have this pimple here and it's it, it's gone. It's flattened and everything, but it did leave a dark mark. And I have another one here and another one up here. And then something from my eczema here. It is clearing it up. The other side, part, uh, part two, has more like, um, what did she say? Like more of a toner she said so you would put that all over your face and the thing about these pads are you rub it all over your face not harshly at all but you know gently rub it all over your face until all the moisture is absorbed from the towelette and then you go to step two uh and i will also say this i didn't know this i was told don't put it on immediately after wait two between two and five minutes and then go to step two just a tip use at your own risk it's good for me i will repurchase it again I love it. I move on. It Cosmetics. I did a campaign with them a few months ago back now and my skin was going through the same hair. Are you still hearing? Are you are we still faking it? Okay. I did it with It Cosmetics. This is their beauty sleep serum. You guys, I love it. If you follow me on Instagram, I have already shared this with you. Hopefully you are able to see the dent that I have made in here. Um, I have been using it. I, I bought a second backup bottle because I absolutely love it that much. It is good for lightening the skin, even in, not lightening, evening the skin tone, brighter complexion. It's like a vitamin C serum, in my opinion, is what it's been used as. I use it at night. It says it's for all skin types. It says that, you know, it plumps, it radiates, it enhances, you guys. It gives a beautiful glow to the skin. I go to bed every night drenched down in this. So I'll put this step on as, you know, one of the steps. And then the final step is my It Cosmetics cosmetics confidence in your beauty sleep for all skin types this is a nice skin transforming pillow cream it's beautiful it's soothing it smells like lavender it's almost gone I absolutely love this their products all the ones that I have used and I did my research by reading what it claims it's going to do they did not disappoint and it won't break the bank it's not like hugely expensive you know I don't find it to be so um yes it cosmetic this right here is where it's at um, I love it. Thank you so much for sending it over. Also, another thing I picked up, and I shared this with you guys. This is so greasy. Don't judge me. And don't pick somebody else. I've been using it. I'm not coming to share anything with you that I haven't used. This is the Osea, and this is the body oil. You guys, I stumbled upon this in Ulta. This is what it looks like. I was late to the party. Apparently, it's a really popular uh, Malibu um uh, cruelty free, vegan free. Um, they're all about recycle. They're all about, you know, keeping the, you know, nature clean, keeping plastic out of the ocean, everything like that. This stuff is really good. This is hydrating. Now this is a thicker type of oil. This is one that I put on, on, on my body, but right out of the shower and the body needs to be, in my opinion, it has worked best when the body is, oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like being at the beach, being at the ocean. Oh my God, it's refreshing not hugely scented by a perfume type of scent, but more like nature, more like aquatic, more like being at the beach, sand. Oh my God, girl, really? Yeah, but this is good. So right upon you getting out of the shower where the bottle body still has those little beads on it from the water, you wanna put that in your hand and just pat it and press it into your body. It is so good. And somebody was telling me, if you have like that strawberry skin or whatever and you've exfoliated before you got out and you put that on, your skin is soft immediately. Now I can attest for that because I put it on my arm and I just was like, okay, what's it given? What's it given? It's an oil. You know, we all know about oils. I kid you not. I got in bed and I went to rub my arm and I'm like, OMG. It has absorbed into the skin. It has evaporated and it left my skin so supple and so soft. I kid you not. Try it for yourself. I also picked up the body butter. This is it right here. Oh my gosh. It doesn't. 
really have a smell. It's very, very lightly scented. I only use this once or twice because I was so cooked on the oil, but both of these are amazing. This has a different like texture to it. You know what I mean? It has a very nice, non-greasy, non, um, I don't know, it doesn't feel like greasy, it's not shiny, but it definitely is hydrating. So I would definitely recommend Osea. Try both of these if you're looking for something. Now, I have one product. Okay, I'll save that for last. I also found these from the girls online. These are the clean, um, Toilettes, you guys if you can see that clean skin toilets I think I heard a few of the girls on Instagram talk about these but I also heard Keiko Beauty talk about these and if you follow her channel She also has a discount code what thing come back to my face She also has like a discount code where you can save a few percentages off I'll link her information in the description box below She has a discount code going on for it, but I did try these out. These are really good You put these on and this is how I take off my makeup. This is how I cleanse my face I just use this. I don't like towels I don't like bacteria on my face. I'd rather use something clean and new every day. Before this, I was using paper towels. So this is even better. Before that, I was using towels. And then when you learn better, you do better. When you know more, you do more. And so I'm doing more. So I'm using these. I thought I'd share. It's up to you. One product that I did purchase that I did not love. And it's not necessarily the product that I didn't love. Well, I guess it is a product I didn't love. It didn't do anything wrong. It didn't deliver to me what I was looking for or what I wanted. I heard so much about Dermalogica, the daily cleanser. And for me, it just didn't set up enough. You guys, this is a very, um, you know, like liquidy type of facial cleanser. It's not, um, it's for brightening. It's a brightening gel cleanser. If that's what it is. Thank you. It's a gel cleanser. And I, that taught me something. I don't like gel cleansers. I don't like gel cleansers really uh, for my face. When I'm doing my face, I want to see the suds. I want my face and all the suds to turn soapy and white and creamy and rich and very lathery. And no matter how much of this I use, because it's almost gone. I haven't even had it that long, but I was overusing it because I was wanting it to get foamy. It doesn't do that. It's a gel cleanser. So I can't really say, you know, it, it wasn't good. It didn't work. I didn't like it because I didn't like the consistency of it I didn't like that it was a gel formula so for me I will pass but if you like a gel cleanser you might want to give this a try I move on and that is it you guys if you made it to this portion of the video thank you so much you know I don't like to keep you and hold you long but I did have a lot of stuff to share with you things that I'm absolutely obsessed with everything on this list I would definitely recommend this is the only one and it's not that I don't recommend it it's just that it's not for me so if you've had amazing success with this leave it down in the comment section help somebody out there might be somebody out there who loves a gel cleanser however I am a soapy sudy uh, you know creamy rich foamy type of cleanser girl when it comes to my face all right that is it thank you again to ceremonia for sponsoring today's video you guys also do not forget to check out the fragrance it is going to be linked as well as the shampoos the conditioners you guys they have a variety of things on their website okay they've got hair ties they've got shampoos they've got leave-in conditioners they've got sprays i just was looking at it briefly but i was really really interested in the fragrance so that's what i was really after and i'm so excited to have it in my collection it's really good like i said if I get a discount code or anything like that everything you already know grow guy you already know everything is going to be linked in the description box beautiful fragrance Again, congratulations to Ceremonia. I am super excited for you. I cannot wait to see where this is going to go. Until next time, beautiful people, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.